Hello, and welcome back to Bnei Noach Academy. Thoughts on the Torah. Please remember to hit the like button, to subscribe, and most importantly, to share this insight and inspiration with friends and family. So we look into the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 32. Mipnei seva takum. Literally translates from before an older person shall you rise. The hadarta penei zaken. And you shall honor the face of a zaken. A zaken means an elder. The yareta melokecha an yashem. And you should fear God from your God. You should have fear from your God. I am your God. Now, in short, of course, it's telling us the obvious, that we have a responsibility, an obligation, and of course also a privilege to respect our elders, to show honor to our elders. Yes, you stand up in front of an older person, an elder meaning somebody, as the Talmud tells us, somebody who has, quote, acquired knowledge, somebody who is a sage, somebody who is in a leadership position, somebody who holds a greater level of knowledge than yourself, one has to show them honor, show them respect. And interestingly, God equates it to the fear of God. Notice he says, and you should fear your God. I am your God. Fear, by the way, doesn't mean to tremble in fear, but fear is awe, respect. So the respect for your elders is synonymous with the respect of God. That tells us a lot. Obviously, God is the source of all wisdom, of all knowledge. And here in this verse, he equates honoring somebody who is biologically old, that's a seva, a very old person, to somebody who is an elder in the sense that they are a sage, a learned person, a person of higher knowledge. That's very, very powerful. And that's very, very telling. You see, the world we live in now, unfortunately, disregards this. Unfortunately, this is viewed upon with scorn. Listen to some old-fashioned person. Because somebody was born 70, 80, 90 years ago. What did they know? They don't even know anything about new technology. They're living in the dark ages. So it seems, right? They couldn't even, you know, play a video game successfully. They wouldn't even know what to do. They wouldn't know where to begin. AI, for sure they don't know anything about that. All that is superficial knowledge. In fact, that is dumbed down knowledge. That's not real knowledge. That is just if you know which buttons to press, you get certain results. That's not skilled knowledge. Experience in life tells us the Torah. Age or the acquisition of knowledge, meaning one has studied intently and intensely, that is something to be honored, something to be respect. respected. That is really something that we are lacking today, that we are missing. And when I say we, it's people who do not follow the Torah, do not follow the principles, the ideals, the teachings of the Torah. Because when you do, the way it's formulated, the way it's founded, the way this system works, so to speak, is we're always reliant on the previous generations, those older than us, those who learned from those who came before them, who learned from those who came before them, who learned from, and so on, we rely on them in order to have the true proper knowledge and perspective as to what is right and what is wrong. So yes, if you have an old grandparent, they may not have the most advanced iPhone. They may not know how to use a computer, but the knowledge, the wisdom of the just purely and merely of their life experience, let alone if they also studied and read and accomplished throughout their lives, that is invaluable. That is so invaluable 
that God equates it almost, so to speak, to the respect that we should have for him. Take advantage of it. Learn from them. Hear about what life really is all about. What the true ideals, morals, and ethics of a human being should be like. Hear it from the previous generation. 